Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to get the selected drop-down value using AngularJS. I'm selecting the employee table Ganesh. See here, we got the Ganesh here. Now Charan got Charan. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Notepad++ for this video tutorial. Right now in this page contains a simple HTML code with some header tags H1, H2 and one horizontal line. Before adding the select option drop down value and AngularJS script, first we'll check the basic output on the browser. And this is the output of that code. Right now the page contains only header tags H1 and H2 and horizontal line. Now my aim is I'll get the selected drop down value in a label control using AngularJS. So, first thing we require the AngularJS latest Sicilian link. Search for AngularJS latest Sicilian, enter. And from the search results, I'm selecting the AngularJS. Select that one. In the CDNJS.com website, you can find different versions. I'm using 1.7.7 version of AngularJS. Come to the bottom, we require the AngularJS min.js, this one. Just copy this one. Let's add in the header section. Script. I'm closing the script tag, source, after adding the AngularJS CDN link, now I'm adding the script tag, closing the script, let's write the AngularJS script, variable app is equals to, first one Angular dot module between single quotes, I am adding the application name of AngularJS. So after the horizontal line, I am adding the do container. Between this do container, I am adding ng app is equals to my app. Let's copy this one and paste here. Comma array. App dot controller. Now I require the controller of the Angular JS. It's a method. Doing single calls. In the same do I'm adding ng iPhone controller is a direct to between double quotes. The controller name is a my controller. Let's copy this one and paste between the double single quotes. Power. Let's add the function scope dollar scope. Now in this function I am adding the arrays dollar scope dot the variable is the EMP details is equals to between square brackets, I'm adding curly braces, semicolon. The first one, EMP name, colon, between single quotes, Sharon, comma, I'm closing the bracket here, comma, EMP name, Peter, EMP name Ganesh EMP name Jack Here I don't require Now let's bind these arrays in the select option now in this do tag, which is the Angular application, I'm adding select, I'm 
I'm closing the select tag. Now between the select, I'm adding the option tag. I'm closing the option. Let's copy this one. I'm adding the second option. The first option I'm adding the default value. Value selector disabled. employee here in the option I'm adding the direct to ng small letters ng hyphen repeat is equals to between double calls emp in I'm adding the scope object emp details here in I'm adding, I'm binding the arrays in this option, emp dot, emp name, that's it. Let's check the output, save the file, I'm reloading the browser, see here we got the drop down control, oops something went wrong. Oh, here I require the comma here. Let's save this file. I'm reloading the browser. Now we've got the arrows into this drop down control. Now, my next target is if I select any particular employee from this drop down control, I want to display that value on the browser. So, I can switch back to the coding part. The simplest way is in the select option, I'm adding ng model is equals to get value I'm just copying this get value we are getting the values from this select option so after the select I'm adding horizontal line I'm adding the angular expression I'm pasting this get value that's it let's save this file We'll check the final output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser again. I'm selecting the employee table Ganesh. See here we got the Ganesh here. Now Charan, we got Charan. That's it.